It is hard to find my footing in this darkness. Trust orts well, sir. Apologies, Master, but I can't guide you there from our current location. We're not done yet, Master. Our next destination awaits. We've a few options where to go, but I'd say our best bet is to start with the location nearest us. We were to make for Harve Village, as I recall. It is not far from here. I'll go and open the chest. the material. A different combinations of materials result in different creations. said. Yawn, forgive me. I cannot seem to walk of my own accord just now. Would you aid me in reaching the entrance? Very well. I shall return.
surveys revealed no such ruins. Could there be a connecting tunnel? Mayhap that's how the creatures got in. This place warrants further searching, no doubt. I am honored to be called to your side, Arisen. Water is nigh invisible in this gloom. No few times has an overconfident step soaked my boots. I dare say that's part and parcel of the adventurer's trade. What's up there? I can't make much out from here, but I have a feeling it will be worth the climb. We'll need to work together if we're to see this done. I expect you'll be wanting my assistance. was a surprise to find someone living out here, and an old man at that. I wonder what so impelled him to set out to sea. Curious, isn't it? Mayhap his maundering will make more sense to us in time. went in there to save my fellow soldiers. Well now, I underestimated you, friend. I shall send word of your deeds to the captain. You've done well this day. I thank you. We'll see to the rest of this mess. You need not trouble yourself further.
Oh, I'm safe. You have my gratitude, friend. Were it not for your aid, I'd have died a dog's death. Out of the cave at last. If I were meant to spend my days in darkness, I'd have been born a mole. Oh, that's right. I was telling you about the Gigantus. Until you went off somewhere. Humph. Young people are so impatient. Now, listen well. The Gigantus is an earthen structure that hearkens to the voice of the sea. Which is a servant of the bride. Just as the Arisen commands the pawns, so too does the sea's peril compel the Gigantus. Supposedly, the Brine have their colossal servant monitor the dragon to ensure that it commits no acts of excess. As for what the Brine deem an act of excess, I could not tell you. Some would argue that tis the hand of excess what brings the cup of fine ale to our lips time and time again. But what of it? Those unbidden sips of ale are what keep the throat from growing parched. Without them, life would be a dull affair indeed. That brings me back to what I was saying about the, uh, what was I talking about again? Ah, of course, the Gigantus. It is formed of clay, and tall enough to graze its brow upon the very clouds. But what's more, it is said its lofty gaze watches o'er the world even now. And should it be stirred to life by the voice of the sea, mayhap twould do aught to put that dragon in its place. You do not believe. But I assure you, it is no less than the truth. I beheld it all with my own eyes. Hold, sir. I'd rethink pressing onward if I were you. The village is crawling with Saurians. Forgive me. I didn't mean to startle you. I used to call this place home, you see, in times more peaceful. Hmm. You're the Arisen, are you? Well, that's something. We were hoping to reclaim our village. But it doesn't seem we'll have much luck. We fled when the dragon attacked some days past, thinking we'd return once the baleful thing was gone. Easier said than done, clearly. In our absence, a bask of Saurians have made our homes their own. What are we to do? The guards not like to send soldiers all the way out here. Ah, but mayhap they needn't at all. You are the Arisen, I. Could we trouble you to aid us in our hour of need? Please, sir, do something, anything about the Saurians infesting our village. A bask of Saurians has made its nest within the village. But not for long, if we have any say in the matter. Saurians, there! I can act with Zeus in this hotel. This creature is hard as stone, making it ideal for tossing at our other foes. Shall we... Is the deed done, good Arisen? Oh, we shall all be able to return to our homes at last. I can hardly wait to bring these tidings to the other villagers. I dare say we'll have this place livable again ere long. I cannot thank you enough. Long will you be known as a friend to our village. If you happen to pass by, do come visit us, won't you? I should like for you to see this place as twas afore the dragon's attack. For your sake, as well as ours, we'll do our utmost to see the village restored. A fine job by our merry band. What say we visit again, anon, to see how- Might I interest you in my humble wares?
Hope to see you again. We're off to Vern with Palace, then. Let us make for the Palace, that you might investigate Minister Allard's chambers. Horns may not enter the castle grounds, Master. We shall have to part ways at the gates. We're in your hands, sir. Much obliged. Look there. I aspire not... statue. I can foresee no reason not to go see it up close. I've just recalled. I found a treasure chest near here during my travels beyond the rift. May I show you to its location? Think on it. None of our thoughts. A flawless execution. Pray, allow me to open yon chest.
I recommend a swift retreat. I know not what to say. All this fuss over a moment's speed. It shan't happen again. Never would have occurred to me. Now that is a surprise. I shan't allow any further harm to come to you. Wager their daughter to be found here. That ponder had best. That was superb, Say it. We trounced our foe well and true. We mustn't allow ourselves to become complacent. Take each trial as it comes. Sunset draws near. Where we do not fall prey to enemy ambush. is working its evil effects upon the Arisen.
look out of this. This might give me a reason. I shall see to it this does not happen again. While in another world, I happened upon a treasure chest rather close by here. Perhaps I can show you the way. It's a Minotaur! Ice will be most effective against this world. wide open right before they charge. generally used as a material. I'm sure we'll find a purpose for it in due time.
Our adventure continues. Come. We've much to be getting on with. Feeling rested, I trust? We have a choice of where to go, but how to know the path best traveled? Let us trust in ourselves and proceed with caution. Freshly rested as we are, this battle ought to be in our favor. Try not to get hit, lest all that vim go to waste. Find place to harvest some ingredients. Shall we see if they're going to be found? I knew you'd prevail, Master. Good steam. I've some catching up to do. In another world, I learned that a forgotten rift stone lies nearby. Shall I escort you there, Master?
Then I shall remain by your side. Come to think of it, was there not another task we were to see to somewhere nearby? When the mind is split, the heart must lead. Or so I've learned. Here at last. We pawns are barred from entering the palace. But nothing shall... Apologies, Master, but you will have to make do without us for the time. You are the Arisen, yes? The Captain gave me your description. Follow me! By you, I will be forced to play my part. Pray be cautious, Your Majesty. I wish the minister would be more careful. He takes the sentinel posted outside his chambers with him everywhere. Have you heard the news? The new recruits are to be sent out to Melv. Melv, I say. Just yesterday, in fact. I'm not sure who did. You know, I was stunned when I saw the door unguarded. Still, I suppose there's not much.
business could be so pressing that I must be summoned at this late hour? I would not presume to know, my lord. However, it must be a highly sensitive matter for the regent kin to request a private audience. Oh, perhaps the boy has finally grown wise to the benefits my favor can bring. He might just be his mother's puppet, but at least he knows what's good for him. M my lord, if someone were to overhear... Oh, unring your hands, you fool! As if anyone in this palace would dare say a word against me now. If Wilhelmina calls, tell her to await me in my chambers. I will return presently. What are you doing in here? I don't recognize you. Guards, seize the intruder. to see you, Master. Onward to Vernworth Castle. Let us make for the palace. Bugger off. Could you come over here? Return. 
Gather round, gather round. Treat your ears to a tail bite, a master. Oh, um, yes. Uh, I, I possess no ill intent. I, I assure you. Uh, I merely wished for a closer look at these bows. Uh, those of other races differ so in design from our own. You see, I cannot deny I am curious about them. That's all it is, mind. Uh, curiosity. <laughs> I have no desire to actually own one of these contraptions myself, uh, and even if I did, it isn't as if I could purchase one. It would be unseemly for an elf to aspire to such a thing, no matter how they fascinate me. It isn't to be. There's a ladder here. After you. Are you in the market for something in particular? Do come again. These foreign bows do so intrigue me, but I shall admire them from a... You would simply give this to me? Oh, that is most generous. I would gladly accept it. Uh, you have my gratitude. Fascinating. Tis not dissimilar from an elven bow in make, and yet tis unlike one in near every respect, such as this bowstring. It looks quite the same, but the tension is altogether different. I suppose that, that comes from using different materials. Well, why do you stare? Perhaps you find it absurd that I should marvel so at a bow, not of elven make. I suppose I sought inspiration, for I, I confess I find myself rather lost. My aim has suffered of late, such that my wayward arrows simply would not strike true. The timing could not be more unwelcome, as my skill with a bow is to be put on trial anon. Forgive me. I should not expect you to know of our ways. I, I speak of the trial of archery time-honored elven custom. Every elf undergoes this trial when they reach maturity. Till we succeed, we are not considered to have come of age. I have been training most diligently, yet my skills ne'er seem to take shape. Indeed, I fear my aim has only worsened with each new failing. I grew so vexed with myself that I sought to learn a foreign form of archery rather than master my own peoples. Thanks to you, I now have the means to do so. Though I dare say I shan't make any headway on my own. Say, would you be willing to give me a demonstration? It might be just what I need to find my aim. Please, sir. You give to me this bow. I only ask that you show me how to wield it. Many thanks. I'm indebted to you twofold, but this is no place to practice. Would you be so kind as to meet me by the ruins north of Trevo Mine? That's where I train, you see. I'll be able to concentrate on your display of bowmanship much better there. I do hope you'll join me. For now, I shall bid you farewell. Come take a look. You'll be glad you did.
do come again. Our packs are heavier, and our purses far lighter. Welcome to Bjorn's Armory. You'll find only pieces of the finest quality line these shelves. And quality is what you need if you want to survive. So if all you check the price, just remember, misers die early deaths. Hope to see you again. Mayhap you'll learn aught of this scoundrel who would claim your title if you attend a palace masquerade. Where?